Hey, what's up guys? It's Dom from Whole Printing Inc. In this video, we're going over the direct-to-film printer after one year of constant use. So guys, initial thoughts on this machine. Honestly, incredible. I know I say this about a few machines, but this one, honestly, I think it's one of the best additions you can make to any print shop or even if you're starting your own clothing brand. I think this machine is going to be superior in every single way when you're just starting out, even though that the initial investment is a few thousand dollars. The reason why this machine is so superior is because previously in screen printing, if you wanted to print a full color image, you need multiple screens, which takes not only a lot of time to set up, but it also takes a lot of money, a lot of screens, a lot of patience, all of these things that you don't have to do with this machine in particular. And the cool thing about this machine, guys, is if you, let's say, receive a photo from a client or let's say you want to print out a logo for your brand, it's as easy as taking it from the computer and making it pass through the machine and it actually prints flawless results every single time. I'm going to show you guys what it looks. So guys, this is a logo once it's printed out. As you can see, flawless results on the back. This is how it looks. But guys, just look at these insane results. I know the quality of the camera isn't particularly good, but as you can see, the details of these prints are absolutely insane. This being a digital printer and compared to DTG, I really think this machine will elevate your print shop to the next level. So guys, real quick, I'll walk you through my shop and I'll show you why this machine is so superior in every single way. So starting off with the screen printing press, okay? This is a nice addition to a screen printing shop, obviously. It says it in the name. But do you need to start with screen printing? I honestly think, guys, you should start with DTF or also known as direct film When starting out with screen printing, you need a lot of things. This includes screens includes the knowledge to be able to screen print properly. This includes also a lot of emulsion to be able to actually cure your screen. It takes a lot, a lot of setup time to be able to make these prints happen on screen printing. It is possible, but honestly, I think you guys should just start with a bigger upfront investment and save yourself the time and hassle of learning to screen print. So guys, like I said, screen printing might not be the right option for you when starting out, but you might think, oh, I can get a Silhouette Cameo and start cutting up vinyl, HTV vinyl to be specific. HTV vinyl is a nice starting point. I actually suggest you guys start with this, but I'll have an in-depth video soon telling you why this is actually the best investment to start off with. You can learn a lot while doing HTV, and it's going to give you the nice foundation to be able to elevate your screen printing shop into whatever you want it to be. But when starting off with HTV vinyl, I honestly think that the printer is once again the best option because compared to other uh, types of uh, printers and stuff, this cutter can only cut one color vinyl. So guys, if you want to be actually able to, let's say, make something like this, to be specific, as you can see, there's two colors. I'll come closer to the camera. As you can see that there's the white and there's the blue. So if we would have done this with HTV vinyl, I would have to put the whole printing in white and then carefully, very carefully place the two X's and then the ink, which can lead to a lot, a lot of mishaps. Uh, whether the print may, may be a bit crooked because you're layering, layering vinyl, I honestly, I honestly think when starting out, it can be a good investment, but I don't think that it's the end all be all. I think this machine is gonna take you way further than HTV can ever take. Moving on to embroidery. This machine is not that expensive and it comes with a fair price. The reason why this machine is not that expensive is it's not that big. You can't really make hats. You can, there's always ways to go around this, but it's not the ideal machine when one's starting out. There's a lot of learning. There's a lot of um, mishaps that can happen. You can have broken needles. I honestly think that this machine is nice for just your basic embroidery, whether that be just like a little something on the sleeve or a little like uh, left chest print. But besides that, I think that this machine is not really worth the initial investment compared to, like I said, the DTF printer. And the reason, guys, I brought you through the shop is to show you that there's a few things you can put your money in when one's starting out. But I think that if you think about it properly, there's only one good investment to do, and it's going to be the DTF printer to be able to elevate your printing shop to the next level. All right, guys, so the reason why I brought you through the shop in this review was really just to show you guys. I actually initially bought every single machine I showed you before this DTF printer. And I can confidently say that I wish, honestly, I would have started off with this. Because once you go digital printing, you never want to go back. And it's a simple reason, guys. If you're doing embroidery, there's a lot of like stuff to do behind the scenes. You need to digitize your logo. There's a lot of stuff to do. There's a lot of like things that can go wrong. With vinyl, like I said, you need to layer it. It's all these complicated things. Screen printing, there's a big setup time. But man, with this machine, you only need this machine, the oven, to make it go faster and easier. And once you got these two things, Yo, you can actually even print transfers for other people. So the 
the possibilities of this machine is completely endless when you really think about it. Not only can you print your own logos for your brand, you can print logos for clients, photos, uh, images, whatever they want, and you can also even print, let's say, size tags. You can do whatever you want with this machine, and this is why it's so superior in my opinion. Compared to screen printing where you need all these screens to be able to make a few color logos and it's messy. This is not messy at all. It's, it comes out and we'll show you guys how to do a sheet. But guys, this is the thing I want you guys to take away from this video. This machine is not cheap. So if you guys don't have the initial budget to be able to afford this machine, but you want to either start your own brand or you want to start your own printing shop, what I suggest is you guys click the link down below. We sell transfers on our website and these transfers come directly from this machine from the best quality and we make sure to quality check every single sheet to make sure you get the best flawless prints. So make sure you guys, if you don't have the budget to buy this full machine, uh, the setup, the good computer, because you need a good computer to be able to make this happen, make sure you guys click down below because there's, there's still a way to make your visions a reality. Just click the link down below, get yourself some sheets with your own custom logos or your client's custom logos or images and we'll print them out and ship to you in the same day. Uh, quick, quick on the side because I just thought of it about this. You can't really get... Um, fadeaways like this in screen printing. It is possible, but it is almost a Russian roulette every single time. With this, you can actually get fadeaways, uh, whatever you want in complex little details without having to have a special screen or having to put ink in a special type of way. So this is really the advantage of DTF in my opinion. So guys, should you buy this printer? Before we do the print, I honestly think, yes, you should buy this printer, but be very patient and make sure that you don't rely only on this printer to be able to run your printing operation because when when and it's not if it's really when this printer starts to malfunction you want to be able to have a few days to be able to actually fix the problem without having big deadlines so this is one of the biggest mistakes i made i bought this printer and i wasn't ready for all of the headaches that it was going to bring obviously guys this is new technology so this being new technology you need to be patient with it and you need to be able to learn very quickly and adapt to your current situation so guys if you're able to be patient i really think this printer is a no-brainer all right guys so final verdict is this machine right for you? Honestly, without a doubt, yes. If you have the patience for it, honestly, I think it's the best investment you could ever do. But if you don't have the initial budget to be able to afford this machine, as I always say, we do sell sheets so you can actually make your prints come to life without hesitation and without the hassle of having to buy a screen printing press, an embroidery machine, all these things. You can just buy the sheets down below, upload your logo, send us your logo through email, and we'll make it a reality and ship it out either the same day or the next day. Thank you so much for watching guys, a no brainer for this machine. This was Dom from Whole Printing Inc. Make a print you'll never forget.